Hey everybody, as you know, we run Adoption Island as our rescue program here at Snake Discovery and we take in all sorts of reptiles and amphibians and invertebrates. We usually get like one to five-ish leopard geckos a day and 90% of them are completely healthy. They have nice big fat tails, original tails, so on and so forth. However, this one's a little bit different. This is kind of a sadder story. This leopard gecko is insanely skinny. <laughs> This leopard gecko, who we have named 100 Gex, I think one of our staff members probably named him that. This is a male. He is 11 years old, and leopard geckos can live into their, like, 20s, so he still has a lot of life ahead of him. But he is crazy skinny. I mean, if you look at his head, you can't really tell. Oh, maybe... Can you? Yeah, you can kind of see it there. On the sides of his head here, where it should just be like muscle, there's nothing. It's concave right there. And on the other side, you can kind of just see his skull because his skin is so pressed up against it. And then going down his back, it's kind of hard to see this. You can see how his spine kind of goes up. Or really, it, it really goes up. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I know. But yeah, his spine sticks up a good eighth of an inch almost and you just can't really see it on camera. His legs have like no body fat front or back. His hip bones are protruding, which are the little bones right here and here, and that you don't want to see in a leopard gecko. And then his tail is like a stick. However, I don't think he has stick tail syndrome, AKA cryptosporidium, which is a very contagious lethal parasite. Whenever we have leopard geckos come in with a skinny tail, we always have them tested for it right away. But I don't think he has that because I believe all of this is due to husbandry. And I mean, we'll test him for it just to be safe, but he was only fed, it sounds like, every other week. And leopard geckos should eat several times per week. So he was loved in his previous home, but I, I think they were just uninformed and didn't realize how much you're supposed to feed a leopard gecko. So I hope this poor little dude isn't so far gone that his kidneys have shut down. We have seen that several times. We'll get in a leopard gecko. It has a really skinny tail. It tests negative for crypto, but it just doesn't want to eat. Even if we tube feed it and use special, and we use antibiotics, it just doesn't bounce back. And it's like the kidneys have already shut down and at that point it's it's pointless. So this guy, I don't know. <laughs> the big sign will be if he eats. So I have wax worms here with me. We're gonna try this together and see if he has an appetite. If he does, that would be fantastic. And I think he has a good shot of making it. If he doesn't eat, then he might not, but we're gonna try this. Do you want a waxworm? We don't normally, by the way, feed waxworms to our reptiles here. This is only a special treat for skinny reptiles or picky eaters when we're trying to get them to eat something. Oh, oh, eat it, eat it, eat it. You can do it, it's wiggling. Oh my gosh! Oh, you do have an appetite. Oh, that's fantastic. And after I just handled you and you've been in transit and came here just like an hour ago. Oh, do you want another? Are you looking for more? Okay, yes, I will give you another waxworm. Look, here's another. Do you want another 100 gex? You can do it. Oh, yeah! Oh my gosh! Okay, so if he's eating that well, I don't think his kidneys have shut down because usually they become lethargic and just apathetic towards life. So if he's eating, I think we can bounce this guy back. Buddy, I think you could actually make it. All right, well, we are going to be feeding him everything he wants to eat uh, for the next several weeks until we can start getting some weight on him. So we'll check back, I guess, in a little bit. Oh, by the way, uh, I have a quarantine bin set up for him. Water, something he can squish under if he wants, and a hide back there. That'll be the heated end. Very basic setup just for quarantine though. But I'm, I'm really hoping I can get a better position. I just gave him like 12 wax worms, by the way, between the last clip and now. I've just been feeding him constantly. Oh, there you go. Now you can see it. See his spine really sticking out. You can kind of see the bumps of his vertebrae too. I mean, there's scales on top of him, which are adding more bumps, but yeah, that's just his, this poor dude's spine sticking out. Oh my gosh. And the rib bones, you can see those too. Buddy, we're going to make you feel so much better. Yeah, we are. All right. It has been about a week and a half with 100 Gex and he is a fantastic eater. But one thing I forgot to do in the initial part of this video was weigh him for you guys. So I, I didn't include it earlier, but he started out at about 40 grams, like 38 to 40 grams. And he's been a great eater. So now that we've had him for a little bit, let's see. And I mean, look at the size of him. Oh yeah, you're a little sassy too, aren't you? I'm sorry I'm holding you. Uh, look at the size of him though. Like he is a, he's supposed to be a good size leopard gecko. So you weigh, stand, no, no, no. Need your whole body on the scale. Oh, you're 45 grams. 
Nice, you gained about five-ish grams. Good job, buddy. We are having him tested for Cryptosporidium too. I don't think that is it, uh, but Crypto is like also called Sticktail Syndrome and Leopard Geckos. We're having him tested for it just to be safe, but I'm like 99% sure it's because he was only fed every other week. Yeah, that's why you were so skinny. You can actually see on the back of his head behind each eye, it kind of caves in right there. That's supposed to come out, like it's supposed to be bulbous there because that's where his jaw muscles are and he like has has no muscle tone at all. You can like see the shape of his skull almost. It's hard to see on camera. But yeah, we're just gonna keep feeding him though because he's a fantastic eater. And I guess we'll come back and we'll check back a little bit later. You can do it, bud. I believe in you. Okay, are you guys ready for this? It's been about six weeks. And here's our boy. Look at how much chunkier he is. I right, 100 gex, come here, come here, look. Your face isn't as indented. Yeah, we're talking about you. You look so good. Oh my gosh, and your spine doesn't stick out nearly as much as it did before. His tail is actually looking halfway decent. His hip bones are definitely still showing and I can feel his spine as he kind of walks through my hand there. But the real test is his weight. Where are you going? Come here, come here. Real test is his weight. So he was, about a month ago, 45 grams. And that was, I mean, he started out at 38 grams. He is now 54 grams. Oh my gosh, dude, you're doing great. Keep eating. We're gonna keep this up for another month and check in on, where are you going? You are so explorative. Um, but yeah, he is eating everything we throw at him. So I think he will have no problem gaining the rest of his weight back. So we're gonna check back in in a little bit. All right, it has been a couple more weeks and look at our dude. Look at you, little man. You're doing so well. I don't see your spine much anymore. Maybe oh, maybe a teeny bit raised there, but not that much. And your tail is looking so good. It's starting to actually accumulate some fat in it. That's fantastic. Your hip bones are still slightly showing there, but not as bad as they were. Should we check in? Should we see how much you weigh? Oh, don't run away. No, come back. Okay, we're gonna get this on, make sure it's teared. About two weeks ago, this dude was 54 grams, and today we are, oh wait, ounces. Never mind, that won't make any sense. We're comparing apples to oranges. Previously 54 grams, today, 56! Hey, you look good! Hey buddy, do you want, want to wear them? Show, show us how good of an eater you are every single day. I know it's a little different than what you're used to. Oh, well. Okay, guess you don't want, oh, do you want to do it by yourself? Okay, I'm sorry. You're a big boy. You can eat it all by yourself. There you go. Awesome. All right, 100 Gex is doing really well. So we're just gonna check back in in a couple more weeks. Okay guys, we have had 100 Gex for a little over three months now. And take a look at this transformation, dude. You look amazing! You can't see his spine anymore, you can't see ribs, his tail is actually getting some fat to it, his skull is, it's hard to see on camera, but it's a teeny bit concave here where the jaw, where the jaw muscles are supposed to be, but it looks a lot better. It's like everything is reinflating on this dude. So we are going to weigh this dude, and then let's remind ourselves he came in at 38 grams. Last measure, or last weigh-in was 56 grams. He is now... 58 grams! Good job, dude! Wow, it's amazing what two more grams will do. He looks like he's gained like 10 grams. Holy cow, dude. You look good, though. You look good. We're gonna keep going. 100 Gex. How are you looking today? Oh my gosh, look at that tail! 100 Gex, you look amazing! Okay, so last check-in was December 17th. You were 58 grams. Today is January 20th, so we're about a month later. No, don't run away! Come here, we have him in a smaller bin so it's easy for him to find his food. Oh my gosh, you just feel heftier. Yes, look at you, Mr. Man. You're looking so good. But here's the ultimate test. Previously 58 grams, now we're... Whoa, 66 grams! Way to go, dude! That is awesome! We are getting really close. Maybe we'll give him like one more week to really top off the weight as much as possible, but... I mean, he he looks fantastic. So uh, one more week, just to play it safe, and then we'll do the final weigh-in. 
100 Gex. It's been another two weeks. And again, this is just his hospital bin. Obviously, this is not a big enough enclosure to be permanent for a leopard gecko. But look at him. He looks amazing. Look at that chunky tail and those thighs. Buddy, I can't see your spine or anything. You look incredible. Okay, let's see. Last time you were 66 grams. Okay, started at 38. That's right. Come here. You are gonna get weighed. Are you more than 66? This is, I think, gonna be the final weigh-in for him, and he is 68 grams! Hooray! Good job, dude! Couldn't have been just one more gram, huh? Well, yay! From 38 grams to 68 grams, he just about doubled his weight while he was with wow. us over the months. He looks great. He looks amazing, yeah. doesn't he? Yeah, you look wonderful, little dude. Yeah, he is, I think, officially ready for a new home now. Look at him. He Boy. has no sense of gravity, but no, you know. He's not the smartest, but he loves to eat, and that's what's important. <laughs> yeah. that's leopard geckos. That is leopard geckos for you. You have one brain cell right there, and that's it. And only sometimes is it on. That's right. So I think what we're going to do is actually bring this dude to the Arlington, Texas, NARBC, and we're going to find him a really good home there, and that's where we will conclude this video. All right, we are here at the Arlington, Texas, NARBC. Why well, she's we, dressed like a pirate. That's why I'm dressed like a pirate. I, I don't just do this every day. Yeah, I sure you don't. <laughs> um, but we brought a variety of leopard geckos with us, including 100 Gex down here, and 100 Gex has just found his new home. He is getting adopted today. And actually, Ed's been setting all this up. I just came over from the meet and greet line, so we haven't been introduced yet. I'm, what's your name? I'm so sorry. I'm Desson. Desson. D-E-S-I-N. -E Great to meet you, Desson. And it sounds like you've been chatting with Ed about the adoption. Nice. Well, 100 Gex is Hi, your new gecko. Did Ed fill you in on his whole story? Actually, no. Okay, so you're going to... This, oh, a little bit that he was a case study. But yeah. yeah, so he's going to have his own video, which is what everybody's watching right now, actually. He came to us. Let me show you a picture. All right, so here is his before picture when he oh was dropped gosh. off. Yeah, he was 28 grams, I think. Let's see. He was 38 grams when we first got him five months ago. Oh, wow. And then so you guys can see, too, if you want. That was this leopard gecko. That's and so we've been kind of rehabbing him for the past five months, and now he is a healthy 66 grams. That's awesome. And he is now ready for adoption, so that's why we brought him here. And this is Lincoln. Lincoln, are you excited for your new leopard gecko? <laughs> it's been a long day. It's been a long day. <laughs> Nice. Will he be your first leopard gecko? Yeah, we have crested geckos and ball pythons and okay. white tree frogs. Oh, wow. Awesome. Yeah. You'll be fine with 100 Tortoises gecks. And <laughs> he is an amazing eater. He eats everything, everything, which is why he rehabbed so well. I have my own dubia call. Oh, yep, he'll eat dubia roaches too, so that'll work out great. So thank you so much no, thank for you. adopting 100 gecks. Thank you, buddy. Bye. Well, there goes 100 Gex off to his new home after a long time of rehabilitation at Snake Discovery. I'm gonna miss that dude. He was awesome, but yeah, was. we're very excited that he found a good home. So thank you for watching yet another case study, I guess, here at Snake Discovery's Adoption Island. Thank you, Patreon backers, because it's your contributions that allow us to rehab and provide vet care and other services, antibiotics for all these rescued animals. So thank you, Patreon backers, and thank you everybody who watches our videos, and we'll see you next time. Now we have to find homes for all these other leopard geckos. Considering they were and, all full. And these beauties. They'll find homes, hopefully. Oh yeah. We'll see.